Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It was the day before Christmas, and all through our house, not a creature was tweeting, not even my spouse, for she was asleep, dreaming of things. And holy cow, is that a dragon with wings? No, it was not, for it was a cloud. Forgive me, my sight. I hope that's allowed. I have just woken up. My eyes are quite groggy, if that's even a thing. Hey, look, it's foggy. JK, JK, that's all that I have. Though my hands are quite chapped, I might need some salve. Unfortunately, I'm done with the rhymes. I'm sure you'd tire of them many more times. I guess I just lied. A mistruth, I spoke. Really, I'm done now. That isn't a joke. Ugh, I did it again! It's just not my fault. I'll zip up my lip now to toss in the vault. Dough is what's needed to bake Christmas cookies. I'm finished, I bet, so please call your bookies. Could you imagine a full vlog with scansion and verse? Please don't click away. I've done so much worse. For this is the art of improvisation. All done just for you, my fair Nomi's nation. Okay, seriously, I hope you are finished. Do not rhyme my words. Otherwise, I'll be... That, that, that. What the hell rhymes with finished? Well, at least I'm not singing, he said with a jeer. I've made people's ears bleed towards the end of this year. And to think it began with a story to tell. Merry Christmas to all. And... Yeah, that's it. You know, when you stick words in my mouth, I really don't have attention to my mouth. But, I got my tongue sticking out of my mouth. This is normal. Right? I mean, it's normal for me. See? Just pour the chips upon which I'm spreading this wonderful sauce, which is also creamy. That begins with a C as well. H is for the hotness of the sauce. R is for being ready for another one. <clears throat> I is for I love this stuff. S is for snacking, although this is really a full-blown lunch for me. T is for... Totally loving this. M is for munching in my mouth. A is for awesomeness. And the second S is for squeezing. And not stopping. And then Diana makes me a real lunch. Wow. That is a beautiful Christmas card. Thanks for the art, Chris Miller. I hope to get the original someday, too. Believe it or not, I look that way in real life as well. And even the tree is happy here. There's Diana with some short hair and Jedi with buns over her ears. My little princess. And poor Wicket and Pixie. Still decked out in holiday cheer. But they're smiling. A huge thank you to whoever sent me this baby Groot. I'm back in the car, heading out for a bit. Is that the sun? Holy sh! Now a Kaliki Maka! That's the thing to say. On a bright Seattle Christmas Eve. The roads seem clear today. As do the skies. Ho ho ho! Looks like Santa's sleigh is almost full! I don't know what to do now. There's no fog. Legend has it that Rudolph helped guide Santa's sleigh through the fog. But how am I supposed to do that? There's no fog. Am I supposed to take off my red nose? I mean, not mine, the one on the car. She says I'm cute. On Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer, on Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. Tree, 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 pole, tree, 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 tree. But do you recall the most annoying vlogger of all? Has anybody seen my red stapler? Do you want to build a snowman? 
Well, we have no freaking snow. So I say good luck with that. What's up with William Shatner? I don't know. There you go, Pixie. Some Christmas treats. And by Christmas treats, I mean the lunch you normally eat. Oh, oh, oh. You too, Wicket. No, you're not Wicket. You're Pixie. Eat. Thank you for the Merry Christmas card and a note of appreciation, Lisa and Joshua Utley, mother and son. They sent this to Diana and me. Then they sent this card separately to Jedi. Two wonderful cards from two wonderful supporters. Thanks again. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a shorter song so I could stop singing it without spending four hours dedicated to it. It seems you've dressed for the occasion, Mrs. Claus. You're a little too young to be married, though. Ooh. You may not get a lot from Santa Claus this year. You haven't really told him what you want. I have a feeling you have everything you need, though. Chris Perillo. It's amazing how much my signature just does not look like my name. Normally I'd take a screenshot of the daily question, but I thought I'd read some of this email aloud. It comes in from Faye, and she writes, I hope you see this. I've never written to a YouTuber before. I've never commented on anybody's vlogs before, but I felt the need to say this to you. I'll probably never contact another again. Faye continues, You need to collab in a way that you feel comfortable and that you will not compromise your sincerity, but with other gamers, geeks, and family vloggers. The good news is we were planning on doing that anyway, so it's good to hear that kind of feedback from people like you. And then Faye writes something that really makes me happy. She says, You deserve so much more viewing than you currently have. You're a lot more interesting than a lot of the teeny drivel that have millions of views. We'll get there someday, baby. We may need your help, though. Like Faye. Thanks. She asks the question, who on YouTube inspires you? I'm inspired by the people who change the world by not doing much other than being themselves. I realize that wasn't very specific, but I think it really puts a finer point on the type of videos that I enjoy watching over time. Usually the types of videos that I see on YouTube are the ones that get shared with me on social. He's coming tonight. I know, I can hardly wait too. You know, Santa Claus is real. Don't let anybody convince you otherwise. Trust me on this. I'm older. I'm not gonna go as far as to say I'm wiser. I'm just going to say I've had a little more experience. I know these things. It's what daddies do. He's making a list, he's checking it twice, he's gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to your town tonight. I have it on good authority that you are on Santa's nice list. So, uh, I kinda hesitate to ask you this, but did you get anything for me this year? Water. Well, was it at least bottled? Uh, yeah. Flown in directly from France. There's my girl. She's sitting there, rocking back and forth in a rocking chair. He looks like a deranged Easter bunny. Your Joe Pot is a nut. He just got a bunny outfit. Okay, I will make you a deal. I will not complain anymore if you let me stay here for the rest of the year. Wait. No, wait, wait, no, I mean the rest of next year. Wait, ah, oh, crap, I forgot. Okay, well then, uh, how about I only talk when you move my mouth? Huh? How's that for a deal? What? Every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch who lived just north of Whoville, did not. But, whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve, hating the Who's.
staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm-lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every who down in Whoville beneath was busy now hanging a mistletoe wreath. She's laying on her little pillow that I got her. It has a little hole in the center so she doesn't get flat head. Oh, did I wake you up, baby? I'm sorry. All eyes are on Mommy and Jedi as we begin the two Christmas vlogs this year. We're about to record the first one. It'll be a separate vlog. It's not going to be in this video because it's going to be a very long experience. And we try to break it up, you know, for everybody's convenience. Uh, tonight we're going to be unwrapping presents that we've given each other in the family. And Diana just uh, received a present from Jedi. That has now been thrown in the trash. <laughs> and uh, we're also going to be unwrapping the gifts that many of you had sent to us this holiday season. As I mentioned before, a gift was given in kind. We already donated that as we kind of highlighted in an earlier vlog this week. And then the second Christmas vlog, or I guess true Christmas vlog, will be Diana's hair getting pulled. <laughs> Uh, it may include that, we don't know. It'll be after Santa Claus has visited, filled the stockings, and possibly given gifts. Oh, fun fact. We think Jedi was in my tummy last year at this time. <sighs> A gnome's work is never done. And you know what? I'm happy to do that work. Because uh, uh, opening presents, that's, that's work. Yeah, thank you. I'll take that work. It's a good job. Thank you, everybody, for your support year-round. And we do hope you continue to enjoy the vlogs that we give. <laughs>